Hi guys, Cindy here. So today we're gonna do our Lashy Box uh, unboxing. I did kind of cut it to make it easier on me so I wouldn't show my address, which it's not a secret. But um, anyway, so let's get started. Here's one on the top. Here's one set of lashes. We might wear these today, we'll see. And this is the Soft Glam Box. Um, I, that's the one I wanted. These, these look pretty. I mean, I prefer mink but these are okay and so sometimes i think well i'm going to get rid of the lashy box subscription but you get other stuff in it too other than just the lashes so what else we got we've got another set of zola lashes sometimes the zolas are mink um now these are silk which is okay i'm i'm okay with silk and i'm okay with mink the vegan and stuff i mean i will wear them or give them away or something but they're not my thing i do like uh, the mink and all you vegans out or everyone that don't like mink, I'm sorry, I like them better. Here's some rude lashes. These are 3D, um, just 3D fat lashes. They're probably synthetic. Okay, these are silk, which is fine. Uh, lashy boxes are typically silk. Does it say? These are Lunar 3D Silk. The mink seem to hold up better, I think. Uh, but anyway, I'll wear them. These don't say, these are Premium Synthetic Silk Fibers. So this is Faux Silk, which, you know, I'll probably give them a try or I'll give them away. The Rude ones just says 3D Lashes and the name of it says Charmed and um, see if what it says about it. I think it's cruelty free, so these are synthetic. Yeah. So. And we got some adhesive. You know, this is one of the reasons I think, well, I'm gonna keep it because like we, they give us adhesive and stuff, and this is supposed to be clear, so we'll use this today. And what else? Oh, we got a palette. Now, I don't know that I'm gonna like this palette because the colors was kind of neutral. So I might not use it. I might use something else. These are the colors, orange and green. Although, I was needing some green. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use it today because I don't like the color. I'm not liking these colors for today's wardrobe. These are more of a fall colors. So, or you can wear them in the summer if it match your clothes. I like to match my clothes or somewhat. So we're gonna put this away. I might give that to my daughter if I decide not to use it because um, she likes neutrals. Which pink is a neutral, but she likes brown neutral. So I'm gonna wrap that back up. We're not gonna use it because I like pink. And some of the other boxes did have more of a pinkish palette. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this over here. Since I'm not using that palette, I did because I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I got out my blood sugar palette. I was gonna give this one to my daughter, but I've changed her mind. I'm gonna give her the Alien palette instead, cause I like pinks. I thought these was browns, but they're not. They've got a lot of red in them. So I'm gonna keep that and give her the Alien palette. So we're gonna use the uh, Zola lashes. Zola's one of my favorites. And we'll save the others. So let's throw on some makeup real quick. And we'll put them on. Alrighty. Okay. How do you get my blue mirror out? I might do another video when I'm done with this for my four month mommy makeover. And this time, you know, last month my husband had the uh, TV going. So this time I waited for when he wasn't going to be up here to do the unboxing. I wanted to unbox it earlier, but he every morning he would be in there messing around, so I didn't get to. So there's probably a lot of people that got theirs up first. Brushes. Alrighty, so... 
You know, we like pink and purple, so that's what we're going to wear today. If I can find the brush that I always use. Hold on. I have all these brushes. That's one reason I quit the subscription boxes except for this, because you always get a bunch of brushes. I've got a ton of brushes. And then I'd even bought, before I did the subscription boxes, I even bought a bunch of brushes, not expensive ones. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some some pink and purple and do it real quick so that we can get to the to the lashes okay um this does have some neutrals in it maybe after i use up all the pinks and purples i'll give it to my daughter or you never can tell i may get into a, a brown spell i doubt that i used to wear brown a lot i never really felt real good about it but you know that's just what we wore, you know, older chicks. And that was for, I didn't know about pink, because I had sort of out of the makeup loop for a long time. Okay, throw a little purple on here, or kind of more of a, not a dark purple, it's kind of pinky purple. Now then, let's do some dark purple under the knee. Or it's not really purple, kind of a purpley red. From the bottom row of the palette. And then we'll help it out with a little bit more. Or have a different uh, probably if I wasn't recording I'd take more time and make sure it was a little smoother but that's okay we're just going to church and today it'll be a nice day go to church favorite day of the week is Sunday good to go to church so, I'm going to throw a little white in the corner. Alrighty, now we got that down. So, let's try this magic liner. Put my glasses on so I can see. Uh, Zola Lashes. I think this is a clear liner. Which, even though I love, love, love these, I still help them out with a little bit of duo. So, that's probably one reason my lashes don't last very long, because they get glue on them. And then sometimes I cut them too short, and then I don't want to wear them. So, I do like lashes from Amazon, and if anyone's interested, I'll, next time I get some, I'll unbox those. But it won't be like a first impression, because I, it's the kind that I think I like, and just the right length you have to be careful because they're too um too short or too long well they're never too short i mean yeah they're never too short except i did get some once that was too short so i'm gonna this is clear or it has a white tip on it but i imagine that's clear which typically the the liner pins are black so we're gonna try this and i do have to look in the big mirror so, or I could get up here and get the other mirror, but I think I'll, I'll be okay with this mirror. Let's see, I'll go sideways. And I'm probably not to do the little tail up. Sometimes out of habit, you get it, especially with the black, but then that adhesive's hard to get off and then you don't want to scratch your eyes, so. Now, let's do that a little bit. All right, now, this is probably just fine by itself, but I'm not gonna take no chances. I like helping them out. I don't like the eyelashes lifting and, and stuff like this, especially with wearing masks and stuff, which I don't have to wear one today, but like at work, I have to wear a mask a lot, and then the hot air will come up, 
and it loosen the stuff. So we want to make sure these do stay. So we're going to help it out with a little bit of duo. This is the, um, I think it's the same formula as the green, but it had a different top. Uh, but I didn't like that. So I used the brush off some of the green. So I just do a line of this on top too. The black is easier to see, but you know, the, the clear probably is more natural. And I do have to use a mirror, like if I put, if something happens at work and I get, have an appointment for a facial or something, you know, and I have to put it on at work and I don't have all my mirrors and stuff. <sighs> I've got, if you get the glue in your eyelashes, you have to be super, super careful getting it out. Uh oh, I got a little glue there. But anyway, it wasn't a whole lot. There's sometimes like get a whole jab in there and that's a mess. I typically don't do that at home. It's like if I'm, I mean, there's been like once I had a facial during the day and I went back to work and I did, redid my makeup after in the bathroom. So, let's put some, while this is drying, let's put on some mascara. And today, I think we're going to wear blue mascara. You know, let's just go wild and crazy. Um... Or we could do black, but so I'm gonna put a little primer on first, and um, I don't know if we're being man natural. I don't know. We're gonna use blue. We're gonna use blue mascara. It's not gonna hurt nothing. It doesn't show up that much. So this is just some primer right here, and it kind of covers up. I don't know exactly what it's for. It's white, and I got it to like to cover up my natural black lashes. So that the blue would uh, show up. Because I don't know. It might show up okay on the on top of my black lashes. I don't know. But. It's just L'Oreal. I got it from Ulta. Or, I don't know. Maybe Amazon or something. I did order it. Whatever I did, I ordered it online. Okay, now I can change my mind and go back to black if I want. And I don't always use this primer. I just use it with the blue. And I got some green too, but I don't ever wear green. I need some purple, but I hadn't, I hadn't bought any. I hadn't, whenever I was in the mood for it, I didn't see any. And now I'm not really in the mood, so I hadn't even looked. But this is just L'Oreal Blue. The same brand as the primer. You know, if you're wearing a tie-dye t-shirt, this looks good. I'm not wearing tie-dye today. I could. I'm just, but I'm wearing something multicolor. But I thought this would be fun for the video. I don't, you know. When you get older, you don't care what people think. If they think you're crazy or not. Okay, so I'm going to give this a little bit minute to dry because if I try to put the lashes on when it's wet, it's sometimes it's easy to get it on you. And I know a lot of people say, put it on with it wet and smash them together. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, so while we're waiting, let's do some little under eye concealer. This is Morphe. Got a sponge. <laughs> So we tried the adhesive stick, but I did help it out, so I guess it's not a true uh, test. I have used the Zola before in the black by itself, and it stuck right then, but then it would loosen up during the day. That's the reason I help it out. And I even watched a, an Instagram live of the that little girl that has the subscription box. She says she uses two, too, but she don't put it directly on her eye like I do mine. I think she puts it on the lash, which that's what most people do, but I can't hold it straight. And I do better just getting it on my eye and then doing that. 
So we got some concealer. Let's just do a little bit of, while we're waiting, just a little bit longer. Go ahead and do some BB cream. And help that under eye a little bit more. Kind of clean up any eyeshadow. I think I got too much. Get the bangs out. As older girls, we had to wear bangs. Because one, that was the generation we was in where everyone wore bangs. And then two, and just in case you don't cover up that forehead because any lines and stuff, you don't want a real aged forehead. And Botox is expensive. And it doesn't last. And so, and we don't know, you know, I guess it's been around a long time. If it was going to cause any really serious bad things, the food and drug admin would have taken it out by now. Okay, now then we're going to try the eyelashes. Except that my face is shiny, so we're going to put a little powder on first. I got some El Cheapo Dollar Tree powder. I got super expensive powder too like that IT, uh, IT, whatever, cosmetics, but uh, I don't know. It said bye-bye foundation, like you're not supposed to have to wear foundation with it, and since I've got the BB cream on, there's no sense in using it. This is just to take the shine off. I got all kinds of setting powder from when I was doing the boxes, but we quit those. We, because it's just a mystery box, basically, and then two, you know, it's kind of come out. I don't think they're giving you the real products. You know, I think they're making special, uh, cheaper products just for the um, subscription boxes is what I think. And I think some of them have because some of the people like Not So Evil Stepmother and stuff like that has done where they're coming like from China and stuff. Okay, so we decided we were going to wear Zola of my non- uh, I do like this brand. I like me best. And, to, and one of these days, if anyone's interested, I'll do a video of some of the lash ones. So these are nice and kind of delicate, not really flashy, which I'm okay with flashy, but like the regular and the drama that was just too long and too thick. And I kind of felt I didn't have enough confidence to wear those. It's just like the wig wearing. I was talking to my friend. Now she does have thin hair, so she needs a wig. And she was, and she's older too. So she was wearing wig. And I told her I had some wigs, but I just, I didn't have the confidence to wear them because right now my real hair looks so much better than any wig. Except for I got one, Yvonne, from Sister Wigs. I hadn't even tried on. It might look fantastic. But, you know, you have to pick your battles. And my husband said he don't want me wearing a wig. So, right now I'm not. If I needed one, I would. If I had like thin hair or something like that. Or, or I over-processed my hair and it all fell out. Now, these seem kind of short. But I did order a soft glam box. And so, I'm going to cut off um, the little edges. Can you see that? And then I'm going to cut off a little bit more at this other end. I have to cut off typically about half inch, and then then sometimes they're still too long, or I cut too much off. Yes, that's happened a bunch. So, so we're gonna see about getting this dude on. Ooh, these are short compared to what I was been wearing. But I did get soft glam. But if you get the regular box, you might get some like really crazy things. So I'm gonna come over in this mirror and put it on. Okay, 
So I might not have got cut short enough, but I don't really want to take it off. And like, so if I didn't press it down, we might be able to kind of lift it off and redo it some. Now with the black, you can tell when you lift it off, it lifts the um, glue too, but Sometimes it takes me a few tries. Okay, this is a really a little tiny <laughs> lash. So. so that's what that looks like. And I can't see it very well. You guys probably see it a whole lot better than me. Let me look in the big mirror. Probably I could have stood to take just a little bit more off, but it's kind of a guessing game. And you don't want to take off too much. So, let's take this one off. There we go. So, I'm going to cut off the little front tip here. And cut it out quarter of an inch or something like that off the back end. Hope that I got them alike. It's guessing game. And then you never get them exactly like the same on both lashes either. I might have cut too much off this end. Let me see. I'm just going to eyeball here. On okay, this, this. I don't know. They by no means look exact, but maybe it's not too far off. Okay, I hadn't got it all good yet. All right, it's on now. Let's uh, look in the mirror. Okay, so let me look in this mirror. And some people like to take the um, eyelash curler, and I do sometimes, but these are so short, they're fine. So these are nice little delicate, natural looking lashes, except that I put on the blue. But that's okay, it'll go with my pink eyeshadow. And top it off, I guess that's it. I can put on a little dab of blush. I just grabbed something pink from the palette. And I just sort of grabbed something pink. And this one here kind of feels kind of uh, like I ain't got it on good, but I will fix it off camera. Alrighty then, so I might do a, another video and uh, if you want to know what it's about, you'll just have to watch it. Bye-bye.